This is Sadia, just five years old and lives on a small farm in northeast Bangladesh. She's an ordinary little girl in a loving family. Just two years ago, though, the only way her family could survive was to send her out to neighbours' homes begging for food. This is the harsh reality for many people living in rural Bangladesh. It's hard to imagine now, but things for her and her family were so incredibly tough. This is one of the poorest countries in the world, where people struggle through each day and where many can't afford even the most basic things in life, like food, health care or an education. And this was the situation for Sadia's mum, Bilkis. Little income, no work and no one to help. Bilkis is a young mum, just 26 years old, and she still finds it hard to talk about how difficult it was. But tradecraft has transformed her and her family's lives. Bilkis and her husband, who used to take on farming work whenever he could get it, have developed their own small holding, growing vegetables for local markets. Tradecraft has helped them learn new and better farming techniques and improved business practices. They're now doing really well. They could put food on the table and provide for Sadia and her one-year-old sister, Sakiba. Mohammed Mutalab is another Bangladeshi smallholder farmer whose life has been transformed by tradecraft. Previously a farm labourer, he turned to tradecraft when things were really bad. Two years ago, he was making just 60 pence a day. He's now secured his family's future, giving his children things they never thought they'd have. And that's why the work that Tradecraft is doing in countries like Bangladesh is incredibly important. And during this fundraising appeal, the UK government is promising to match every pound you give, helping farmers like Bilkis and Mohammed grow more, earn more, and eat more. Wow!